The next question to Dr. Sharosh doesn't appear to be very legible. I'll do my best. Which version of the Bible do you accept as authentic? Do you agree with the versions which were removed? 1 John 5, 7, which read, There are three who bear witness in... I don't know what that word reads. It's Lenin, I think. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and that these three are one. Uh, Dr. Shirosh, have you understood that question? This question, ladies and gentlemen, deals with a text that is supposed to be in the text of the scripture called in the proper language of biblical textual criticism, interpolation. That means it is not in the original text. When we talk about the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, I think I need to... But the version is, as the brother was trying to explain, he said that the verse on the Trinity is an interpolation. He said that. Interpolation means something that has been pushed into it which is not supposed to be there. And in the Bible he presented to me, that verse is a part of the text. In other words, now that's a version. You open another book, the Roman Catholic version of the Bible, which is the RSV version, Roman Catholic, they threw it out as a fabrication, that verse. It's a different version. That the scripture is written by eyewitnesses, or people who talk with eyewitnesses. As for my good friend Shabir, how in the world can he judge 2,000 years after the fact what is a part of the Old Testament or New Testament or part of the Gospels or this that added or developed or all that? How can he do that? We removed by 2,000 years and the record we have is... Now Dr. Shirosh has asked us, you know, how do we know that the Bible has been corrupted? There's so many 2,500 manuscripts, or it's actually 5,300 of the New Testament. Dr. Shirosh, can I borrow you a copy of the Bible here? Do, do you mind if I just... You have your own. Can I just have a look at yours? Don't you have one? I just need yours. <laughs> Thank you very much. Six on me. You have the authentic <laughs> Bible, Dr. Shirosh. <laughs> Now, the Hebrew and Greek. This is the New King James Version of the Bible. It contains 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. You're aware of that. You bring that story again. You're aware of that. And you're aware that you have already said in the previous debate that that is a later insertion into the Bible. Why are you carrying a Bible that has a verse that is a forgery? One verse out of tens of thousands. But you admit at least one verse that is a forgery. Not a forgery. And there are Bibles which do not contain that verse. I have them. He could carry those, but he carries the Bible which has the verse, which says that there are three in heaven, and these three are one, because it's the beloved verse, it's hard to part with it. You carry that verse, and yet you ask us, where is there a forgery in the Bible? There it is, Dr. Shiroz. A question to Dr. Shirosh. Um, could you please tell us then who is Muhammad and what is the Quran and where it came from based on the fact that many Arabs try to construct something similar and that uh, nobody has been able to do that so far.
here it is. It has been done. The true for Khan. You can have a copy, there are a few of them outside. And the answer of 1400 years to the challenge is not only in Arabic, the language of Allah, but the language of the world, English. It's Arabic and in English. We'll deal with that later. Now, what about the true for Khan? I have uh, read some parts of it and I'm not satisfied. The Quran says, uh, uh, bring something like it and call your witnesses besides Allah if you are truthful. So get the experts in the language to review that book and show us that in fact, this book matches the beauty, the eloquence, the wisdom of the Quran. And now 1400 years have passed. A lot of water has flown under the, uh, flowed under the bridge. Now the, mu the Muslim community has uh, received the Quran as a living experience. Can the true for Khan supply plan that and show itself to be a better book than the Quran itself? I do not believe so. Moreover, some of the doctrines of the true for Khan I have found to be self-contradictory and that the Quran does not have any self-contradictory doctrines. When the Quran teaches the unity of God, the prophethood of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, all of this is quite clear, simple, non-contradictory, not true with the book which Dr. Shirosh has shown us as the true for Khan. This is the surah, the new surah on the crucifixion and it is in Arabic and in English. Here goes. بسم الآب الكلمة الروح الإله الواحد الأوحد يا أهل الذين ظلوا من عبادنا لقد جاءكم الفرقان الحق يبين لكم كثيرا مما كنتم تجهلون من الإنجيل الحق ومما كنتم تكتمون All you who have gone astray yet still claim to be among our believing worshippers the true Furqan has come to you to explain a considerable amount of knowledge which was unknown to you concerning the true gospel along with what you have kept concealed in your souls. Sirajun munirun yukhrijun nasa minu dhulumati ila nur fala taqulu ma ja'ana ban bashirin wa la nadhirin faqad ja'akum bashirun wa nadhirun wa lakinnakum tajhadun. It is a shining lamp that brings people out from darkness into the light. So do not complain that we have not sent you an evangelist and a prophet. An evangelist who is also a mighty prophet has been sent unto you. Alas, you are ungrateful. قَصُرَتْ أَفْهَمُكُمْ عَنْ إِدْرَاكِ الرُّوحَنِيَّاتِ فَاسْتَخَرْتُمْ الْأَرْضِيَّاتِ وَنَبَتْتُمْ السَّمَوِيَّاتُ جَهْلًا مِنْكُمْ فَعِشْتُمْ كَالْأَنْعَامِ يَسُوتُكُمْ نَهْمُ الْغَرَائِزِ وَفِطْرُتُ الْجَاهِلِينَ Theological issues seemed unfathomable to your limited understanding. Subsequently, you opted for the earthly issues and rejected the heavenly ones because of your own naivete. Consequently, you behave much like some creatures who are controlled by the urge of their basic instincts and not by reason or logic. This is one of the surahs in the new True for Khan, written by a friend of mine in Arabic. I had the privilege of translating into English. It's been printed four times already. It's another effort of trying to share with you the now, truth. Now, in the last few minutes I have remaining, I want to just touch upon very briefly Dr. Shirosh's book entitled The True uh, for Khan. Uh, first, uh, we should uh, uh, recall that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sincere and he really believed the Quran came to him as the word of God. On the other hand, the true Furqan begins by saying, Uhiya ila Safi, it is inspired to a Safi. According to the Quran, it is the gravest sin for a person to say that God revealed something to him if God didn't reveal anything to him. And you and a Safi know that God didn't reveal anything to him. That's why in your translation of it, you put it inspired to. Inspired by a Safi, that's what you've put. But it, uhiya ila a Safi means inspired to a Safi. Don't change the rules, don't fudge things. Now, <laughs> now it, it, throughout the text, the author is saying, this is uh, what we inspire. Who is the we? He's speaking for God. And for a man to speak for God, I think is both on Muslim and on Christian, if he deliberately does that. Muhammad did that because he was sincere. He believed this was from God. Uh, Asafi was not. Neither are, are you. Uh, now, the name of God. Of course, Muhammad began by reciting in the name of God. But uh, Asafi begins uh, by saying, Hukuku Tabi Mahfuza. The copyright is protected. <laughs> and the, the way of the prophets in the Quran is always to say, Look, I'm not demanding any wages for this, I'm preaching it freely. And the Gospel says from Jesus, As you have received it freely, freely shall you give. 
Now, there is a doctrinal error in the Basmala as it is given in the true Furqan. It says, Bismil Ab al Kalima al Ruh. It conflates the three persons, which is a doctrinal error according to standard Christian definitions. Whereas in the Gospel according to Matthew, where the baptismal formula is given, it's given as Bismil Ab wal ibn wal Ruh al Qudus. The wa is essential there, Dr. Shirosh, to make sure that the persons are separated and that they are not conflated into one. When you say Bismil Ab al Kalima al Ruh, it means in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. It's not three persons, but one person. And you have made, in fact, a very, in, a, a very clear doctrinal error in that. So how can we believe in a book that has such doctrinal errors? And how can you put forward that book as a match for the Quran when obviously it is not? He's a prominent religious evangelist known around the world for his controversial writings about Islam and the Koran. Tonight he is in custody in Baldwin County charged with trying to burn down a condominium high-rise in Daphne. He says he is from the hometown of Jesus and claims to have preached the gospel in 82 different countries. Tonight, Dr. Anis Sharous is accused of putting dozens of his Daphne neighbors in danger. By the Spirit of God, who was his father? My friends. He is a Christian they evangelist who has Abraham? infuriated Muslims worldwide by questioning the Quran. Anis Sharous claims fanatic Muslims tried to kill him on three different occasions. Last night, here at the Loma Alta condominiums in Daphne, Sharous was arrested and is facing charges of attempted arson. Well, right now we're treating it his intent was to burn down Loma Alta Towers. Um, you know, he started a fire in the basement of Loma Alta Towers. You live in a high rise and it. it there's, there's always a concern about uh, some sort of disaster happening. Police say Sharous was trying to torch the building in which he lives. There may, however, be a different motive. Well, that is the trash bin that police say Sharous started on fire in the garage here at the Loma Alta condominiums late last night. NBC 15 News has found out that inside that trash bin is a box full of tax documents, apparently from Sharous's Evangelical Association. Police would not comment on the tax records found inside that burned trash bin. Potentially, we could be looking at several, um, you know, death investigations or several murder investigations. We could have several people that uh, wouldn't be with us today. Now, police say Sharous is also facing charges of criminal mischief for dismantling a security system at the Loma Alta condos last week. He is in jail in Baldwin County.